Hello everyone. Uh, what I'd like to uh, highlight today is uh, my newest project, which is a Dynaco PAT4 preamp rebuild project. And as you can see, it doesn't really look anything like a uh, vintage Dynaco, and that's because I've had to uh, modernize it somewhat um, and dress it up a little bit. Uh, and the reason being, uh, right under where you see my 3D printed uh, raised Dynaco um, logo, um, the previous owner had inexplicably uh, decided to etch his driver's license number on the faceplate in big bold letters and numbers right across there. And of course that all but destroyed the uh, the faceplate so uh, rather than throw it out I figured well I'll dress it up uh, in a fancy way and in many ways I had to actually do the same thing with my stereo matching stereo 150. Um, in this case I rebuilt this amplifier the original black faceplate uh, was quite badly marred and scratched and dented so uh, you know why waste a good uh, amplifier so what I did was I uh, got a nice really nice piece of walnut veneer and uh, slipped it in there but I uh, first I what I did was I uh, stained it and then varnished it um, uh, urethane I think anyway um, and then uh, uh, basically uh, created what I think is a beautiful looking woody uh, amplifier. In order to match, I figured, well, since I've got this badly marked up uh, faceplate on the PAT4, um, not only would I uh, change the faceplate, but I decided to completely rebuild the preamp. And so as you can see inside, it actually doesn't look like uh, much of a, an old vintage PAT4. Um, Here's the previous uh, line and photo boards that I pulled out and uh, very old and very tired. Uh, I've got a couple of Pat 4s kicking around and uh, actually three of them. So those are all ones I'm yanking and I'll be putting in new uh, new boards. So just to be clear, um, yes, it's dressed up like a Pat 4, uh, but the preamplifier in itself is uh, completely different. So you can't really call it a Dynaco anymore because it's uh, it's now a very competent modern preamplifier that is far exceeds the capability of the original preamp. Um, things that I've done with it, obviously I put in the uh, the new line and phono boards, which is the PAT4 Renew boards from updatemydynaco.com. And in order to put those boards in, you also have to update the power supply because it formerly was a capacitor that sort of doled out the power to the, uh, the various boards in a, in a certain configuration. And now they've uh, put a really nice uh, power uh, update board that uh, smooths out the power and gives you uh, a far better, cleaner sound than the, uh, the original PAT4 ever did. I also upgraded the... Uh, RCA jacks. Um, I noted that uh, you know the old jacks were very very oxidized. Now you can clean those up, but it's a pain in the butt to have to do that every few years when they uh, they oxidize, and that actually really is detrimental to the signal. I find um, getting a lot of crosstalk and everything, and now it's just clean as clean as can be. And I actually applied this upgrade before I applied these boards, so I was using it in the old configuration, and it sounded much much better. Um, so there we have it so far, that's where I'm at. Oh, the other thing I did was all of the, uh, a lot of people, what they do is they change the uh, capacitors and semiconductors just on the boards themselves. And they don't touch all of the old capacitors that exist on the, uh, the RCA jacks and also on the front board with the, all behind these switches, you have actual old capacitors as well. So uh, I did that update as well. And then the other thing I'm waiting to do I wanted to get this all working first, but the next thing I will be doing is up changing the uh, the tone filter switch or tone filter switch assembly, I guess, um, and replacing it and converting it into a tone control uh, cutoff switch. And what that does is it allows you to bypass the bass and treble controls and use it as a straight through preamp. Uh, many audiophiles are firm believers that uh, they don't want any EQ in their circuit and of course with the old configuration of the PAT4 
The problem is um, the equalization, the base and treble controls are always in circuit. You can't actually shut that, shut that circuit off. Um, so with this new modification, I'll be replacing this assembly here with, here's another PAT4 I was uh, working on, but I've got this uh, tone control switch, uh, cutoff switch here. I'll be popping that out and replacing this one while well, I have another one on order and uh, and basically uh, defeating the tone filters which almost people almost never use it's not a very uh, used feature on these old preamps and uh, so basically I'll be doing all of the complete upgrades that uh, that are available uh, the one I haven't done yet and may do eventually is also the uh, selector switch but uh, I'm not having any problems with this one so uh, it's a very expensive upgrade, so we'll probably be uh, leaving it in this configuration for a while. So, um, how does it sound? Well, uh, hopefully I can get this thing running. So I've got a, uh, a FLAC player here um, going through a Bluetooth receiver. Not ideal, I know. I usually like to have a line. Uh, I also have a, a, a tuner here. Um, and I'll be checking out the phono circuit. I just got to bring up a turntable to do that. But first I wanted to get everything working properly uh, before I do the tone control switch and then, uh, and then also uh, check it out with a uh, turntable. Make sure the phono circuit's working quiet and good. So right now I've got the uh, Bluetooth in on the uh, spare input, as you can see. And here we go. That is how beautiful. And you can also see the LED lights that are on the boards here. One there. For the, so that, that tells you that the boards are functioning correctly. And there's actually now a relay cutoff. So you don't get the clunking noise when you power this thing on anymore. Or powering it off. It actually is quiet as a mouse. Same with the volume control. When you turn the volume off, it's all the way off. You don't hear any of that residual noise that you have in the old Pat 4s. The dirty Pat 4s, I should say. And it works just wonderfully. Stand back. And I've got a couple of Dynaco A25 speakers that I had re-veneered. As you can see, the sound is absolutely fabulous. So you have a modern preamp and power amp now. Um, that sounds sound much, much better than the uh, the original components ever did. But yes, you can't really call it a Dynaco because. It doesn't have all uh, the problems of the Dynaco. There you have it. And there's the tuner. I don't get a really good reception here. Say good morning. It's Mike here. Kind of bad start to our uh, our weekend. It seems nice. I got to get in it uh, later on this afternoon. An antenna Could for it. Possibly but see. Anyway, some. there you have it. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, just annotate them below, and I'll try and get back to you. Cheers.